Hey, what's poppin', man? You already know Mr. J Hill is uh, another conversation uh, with a dope person. You know we're doing dope conversations with dope people. Uh, I got my guy, Jay Sanders, in the building. What's up, man? How you feeling? What's going on with you, bro? You know, uh, not chilling. that much, man. Yo, I, uh, I love when I can have these conversations with, like, people other than rappers. Because I'm always talking to rappers all the damn time. <laughs> so it's like when I can have conversations with people that's doing other things and show people that, like, it's other people out here other than people in the industry. No, I love I it. Feel you on that. I yeah, feel but you got um, I, I we know each other personally, but for the people that don't know you, um, let them know what's your name and anything that you're doing. So my name is Jay Sanders. Um, I'm born and raised in Baltimore City. Mm -hmm. 28 years old. Uh, you know I've been a city native for a long time. Like I'm really heavy into men mentorship and giving back to the community and stuff like that. So primarily what I structure my life around is philanthropy and ultimately like professional development mm. so so you actually got some uh you hit me to do the interview and you were saying you got some um you doing some community outreach uh you just started you just started a business or you've been doing this so my business officially launches may 18th it's oh it ain't start yet yeah officially so officially like okay. i mean i got everything in order i got my uh, llc form i have the business portion form but essentially it's a um, peer mentorship service so you do consultation uh in academia professional development and just any areas of your life uh, that you think you need help in. So mm -hmm. how I structure it is, let's say you schedule a phone call with me, boom. You pick one to five questions based on whatever option that you select and based on uh, the question that you ask me, I prepare before the interview, I come to you with research, uh, detail-oriented documentation, and then we'll go over the questions that you have. I kind of put a cap on it, like an umbrella as to what I have expertise in. So um, like resume review and building, writing, peer review, professional development, again, kind of like if you're going into an interview process, what questions to ask, how to present yourself. Um, I do a medley of things, and then I address your needs as best as possible. So with different packages, you get different kinds of, uh, let's consultations. call them, yeah, consultations. So you get, let's say if this is the bare minimum package, you get five questions, you get typed up Word documented formatted notes of what we covered in our meetings, things you need to address and work on. And then you also get a follow-up phone call, which I call an accountability check. Mm. So after you do that, you handle your business. I call you within like the next week and a half. We go over like, how did you properly execute? What areas you may need to work on? And then we can decide from there, do you want to continue the relationship or do you want to like, you know, one was enough and it's cool. Mm. And then um, I also offer a free option as well because who knows how 30 minutes may change your day or change right. your life so. no, that's a fact so it, this could be potentially something that's ongoing like kind of like a mentor and it can grow into that uh that relationship whereas all right if i pay you this i don't know maybe you can have a uh, let's say a monthly service fee, right whereas right. i pay one price and then i can see you like i don't know every week or every other week or so, something like that right right precisely so, or let's say a uh a job package, right? So because you do resume. So the job package is okay, we're gonna sit down before the job, uh during the interview and after the interview type of thing. Like that. It sounds like something like that. So you're preparing something preparing people for a particular place in their life that they're trying to go. Oh no, a hundred percent. And what I did was as a tester, I would put out different flyers and stuff on the gram for free. I'll be like, yo, for all the month of October, November, I'm doing free 30 minute 1v1 peer mentorship calls. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm covering the same areas of expertise, but I'm giving it to you for free because one, I can't even fathom charging somebody for something that I'm not even grounded or well versed in. It doesn't right. make sense. Like you see so many people doing, yo, I'm gonna coach this or like, yo, I'm gonna be a manager of this. No, no, no. Everything needs to be tailored specifically to the person you're trying to help or else they're just throwing away hundreds of dollars, throwing away that time on generic like yo you gotta grind to get it you gotta uh uh pay this price or you're gonna be locked in like what does locked in look for the person mm. look like for the person right. what does grinding look like for you is it i can't have anybody around me is it y'all have to write everything out is it i have to repeat these things until i can make sure i have everything uh locked into my mind so i mean yeah i just do it to tailor it to the person and like you said that's how it be based it'll be package based and then whether or not you still need my help afterwards, cool, we'll see. it's lit. If you don't, then you I did mean, your job. Yeah, I did my job. Yo, so talk to me about peer, ment peer mentorship, um, far as the word, right, and what does it mean, and maybe what it means to you. Because 
honestly, I feel like for people that might not have heard it, it could be a little intimidating. Like, I don't think about like, peer mentor. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It could be intimidating. What does it actually mean and, and what made you even want to go into it? So with peer mentorship, you have to look at it like this. Me and you are peers. We similar in age, similar in status, similar in uh, professional careers, even though we do two different things. Mm -hmm. Peer mentorship is we come together, we meet with one another, we chop up different ideas and different strategies so that you walk away with something and I walk away with something. What I'm walking away with is a better knowledge of how to help you. And what you're walking away with is a solid foundation that lets you know, all right, my plan is working. I decided to get into peer mentorship because even since undergrad, like I've really been heavy on giving back to the community. That's one thing I didn't have growing up in Baltimore City Public Schools. Like I never had somebody to just help me out, talk to me about the ideas and different things I had and the way in which I understood. You get a lot of these mentorship programs where, pardon my French, niggas is talking over your head. Mm -hmm. You like, <laughs> what are you saying to me? Like right. you're dropping a whole bunch of different terms and vernacular and verbiage and you want somebody to really sit there and lock in and pay attention to you, let alone pay you for something like that. Nah, I'm gonna give it to you in a language you understand. I'm gonna make sure you walk away fully fulfilled. And I also just love helping people help themselves. Because mm. in turn, I mean, it, it feels good to give. Right. So no, that's, that's, a, that's, what, that's what essentially got me into it, for real. So you're speaking on, like, people who just, like, wanting to get paid for basically the bare minimum, honestly. And, um, you know, it made me think for the consumer, right? You said peer mentorship, but we both come into something and we both leaving with something, right? So if we both come into something, having a conversation, and we both leaving with something equally, why am I paying you to do this for me? So the reason you're paying me is because often... You don't attach a formal sense of importance to something until you pay for it. Mm. If you got Gucci coats for free all around the world, nobody Gucci would care about be Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> it wouldn't be Gucci. You'd be <laughs> like, what do I need this for? Like, bro, right. I, got, I, got, I got a coat. That's another coat. I don't need that. But if you pay for it, you attach a certain value to what you paid for. Mm. But this is also why I offer the free option. Always give you an appetizer before you get the main course. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense for you to just dive in and pay for my services. If you don't even have like a scintilla of an idea of what it is I can offer you. So I'll give you your free 30 minutes. I'm going to put my heart, soul, and game into that 30 minutes. And I'm going to see whether or not you want to continue forward with a paid option or you still want to utilize my time. But often, and, and I say this a lot, it goes from coaching to a conversation when you throw accountability in there. Mm. And it takes you to be accountable saying, all right, if I know I'm going to pay for this service, I'm going to utilize it to the best of my ability. If he's going to take time out to engage me and help me with my ideas or my plans and stuff, he's going to do the adequate research necessary in order to make sure I can be served properly. Mm. So, I mean, it's equivalent exchange, Joe, and it just both parties had to be accountable. Like I said before, might sound like a broken record. I cannot come out here and try to give you something that I have not tested and made sure it works. Mm. I have plenty of students that um, go to school with me because um, I'm at the University of Baltimore School of Law right now. Have plenty of students. They've applied to internships, uh, clerkships, all that stuff. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I done help people come up with business plans. I've helped review uh, writings and resumes. I've helped people prep for interviews. Got it. Got it. Got it. Like I'm making sure before again I pay, charge anybody for anything. This formula is tested and it's, it's real. It sound like you got a model for it, right? Um, yeah. But you know, in this specific specific field. I'm thinking like, damn, like, what if, if I come to, what, what, what is your expertise in this field? Because like, like you say, you're in law school. So I'm assuming like, if I have a job with anything around law, I definitely want to come to you, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't know if, it, if the job might be in medicine, why would I come to you, if that makes sense? So essentially everything follows the same kind of system. Mm -hmm. Even if you're in radio or media, you have somebody that's at the top administratively, you have supervisors and you have the employees. Every single successful system in the world probably models one another. So it doesn't really, it's not necessarily that like, all right, I'm in law, you in medicine, we can't relate. I'm more so attacking the system than the subject matter. Damn. So. And you got that system down pat. I have the system down <laughs> pat. So like in law. So you got to pay for that. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, but not even, not even necessarily because I mean, that's part of it. And I'll get into this um, a little bit later, but. What it is with law, it teaches you so many different techniques as far as reading, research, and writing mm. that that's how I even acquired the knowledge to understand that everything functions through a certain system. It's just tweaking the advice or the critiques or the uh, research that I give you to match the system that you're in. Like, that's essentially what lawyers do. We get paid 
to know a little bit more than everybody else. Okay. However, I'm not providing you with legal services, though. That's okay. a clear distinction. I do not represent any of y'all. <laughs> I'm not barred attorney yet. <laughs> Got to put a disclaimer because that can get you in trouble, too. So no, in fact. It's just it, using the knowledge that I acquired. It's kind of like uh, even using the tools that you was given in school, right? Like you exactly. said, lawyers, they kind of know more than everybody because they got to do more research than everybody. So it's like, all right, if I'm used to doing the research, Shit, I can open up this type of business where I got to do more <laughs> research because that's what I do any, anyway. Right, so like, exactly. you might not, and, 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 and honestly, it's the same with like, let's say, some people say my analogies are bad, but whatever. Let's say changing your oil, right? They say you really don't pay for the service, you pay for the convenience, exactly. right? Because I could change my oil, you know what I'm saying? But right. at the same time, it's like, I don't want to. So it's like, the, everything that I'm coming to ask you about, I could learn myself, but I just rather you ha learn and you just tell me. Exactly, okay. and, then, and then even with that too, that's part of the beauty of it. I hope nobody comes back to me after you pay for the initial service. Mm -hmm. Or if you even use the free option, I will hope that I gave you enough game and I hope that I gave you enough structure to be can go out and realize that, yo, it's really not that hard if I just do it myself. Facts. In college, I used to do papers for people. It's I was kind of the same thing, yeah. I was, I was getting, I was getting <laughs> upwards like between like 1500 to 2000 a semester just writing papers for people, putting people under contract for writing papers. Mm -hmm. Whereas it took me two hours, I would sit down and break down to them, like, I'm not in your class. All you're doing is giving me the information and I'm making it sound pretty. Mm -hmm. And it would get them the grades that they needed. Some people got degrees off of it. Like, but hey, it, but that's it's, the game. Like, but it's, it's pay for the like, convenience. Yo, I want people to understand you can do this yourself. I bleed the same as you. We're the same kind of people. All it takes is just a little bit more structure and a little but bit more. But that's why you're going to get paid because, bro, we don't want to do it. It is what it is. Like, you, you pay for it. Like, I don't want to go put, I don't want to go put fucking oil in my car or something to pay you to do it. I can figure out how to do it myself. I don't want to change my brakes myself, but I'm, I know how to do it. I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. You pay for it because I want my time. Because a lot of times, your time, not even a lot, the most important thing in this world is time, right? So it's like, yo, exactly. if you can do the research, come back and tell me how I can get this interview or how I can get a job, thank you, I'll pay for that. And I think that right there, for me anyway, I can't speak for everybody else, but I think that is really the selling point because it's like, yo, bro, you paying me for your time because you want to tell me what you want to do, I'm going to get the information, I'm going to give it back to you. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It is what it is. That's why we got YouTube University right now. <laughs> <laughs> you learn online for the, for the, for the free. The facts for the for F. The so, yo, 30 minutes, we talking about free, right? 30 minutes, what am I going to get out of 30 minutes? So, within 30 minutes, one, I'm going to get a little bit of your background. I'm going to get the one question that you have for me, and I'm going to give you a taste of what it is that I offer. Mm. So usually I attack it from the broad, and then I go narrow. So let's say you're having an issue with, um, let's do a, one that everybody kind of deals with, because you know you got the nine to five versus being an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. You can't really get right in the administrative system that you're in. Having a hard time adjusting with work, you're having a hard time seeing eye to eye with your supervisor. We're going to start at the top. We're going to say, all right, you're having a problem with your job. What's the next level under you having a problem with your job? Is it your communication skills? Is it how you present yourself at work? Is it the quality of work that you're producing? Is it the fact that you don't have anybody to review your work in the work system? Once we hit those certain level of check marks, boom, we get to the last one. The onus is always on you. Mm. What can you do to change the situation that you're in and make it more favorable to the position that you have? Bomb. All right, let's say I work with so-and-so on this team or I have to report to so-and-so. If I get my work done two hours earlier, I can have an extra hour of review after that when I submit it to my supervisor or I submit it to my team. We start attacking things on different levels so that you can kind of see, all right, my situation isn't really that bad. If I just maneuver this here, 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 I can get a more favorable outcome, which might make me like my job more. Damn which might make me not have to work on weekends and kill myself triple, double overtime because I'm trying to scramble to put together a work product just to get shitted on Monday morning. And, which, and, and more importantly, which makes me, because I have less stress, I'm more efficient at work. I get exactly. more things done. Exactly. And you're taking less home with you and you're leaving more at the desk. And that's only in the first 30 minutes. Damn. And I ain't even really did nothing but just address the one question. Shit know. sounds like therapy and some more shit. Like it sounds like a lot of it sounds like some good shit though. So yeah, you got your business officially open and um, launching in May. Uh, are you taking any clients until then? Like how can somebody reach out to you and sign up for your services right now, even though it's not official? Or yeah, so as of right now, you can reach me on the gram at the original made man, T-H-E-O-R-I-G-I-N-A-L-M-A-D-E-M-A-N. The original made man, all one word. Um, you can just DM me. I'll schedule a time based on my work schedule, my class schedule, and everything. 
Uh, it'll be 30 minutes to the T because I'll put a timer on and everything because, you know, self-care. Can't pour into uh, anybody else if I don't, if I'm empty. Mm -hmm. But um, you can do that. You can address me with, like, any questions, any needs, anything you have. And, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it as of now until I launch my website um, and everything officially May 18th. So you can just reach out to me on the need to know basis. So you're still doing it even though it's not, I guess, official? What, uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, okay. still, I'm still doing it because it's just, like I said, at the end of the day, I do not care about the money aspect of it. I care about the philanthropy. I'm just charging one because it adds value to the service that you do. And it's also giving me something for my time. And I've, you should honestly get paid for your service, period. Like, I get all that I mean, shit, I feel, I feel but you should you, get paid you, for your service. I mean, I feel you, but I feel like we pay for so much nowadays that it has to, like, you just asked me, why is it worth you doing that? Mm -hmm. I feel like we just pay for a lot of shit that's not we worth do. it. We yeah, pay we for do. so much that's not worth it. We do. So... If I can help you within a limited time frame, I'll do that. All I'm getting is just for my time. Because I've been on the phone with people for hours. I've given the game. I've had the conversations. I've done the pseudo-therapeutic shit with people. <laughs> and I've walked away with my battery drained. Facts. I've walked away with nothing to show for it. And then they go back and do the same shit they was doing before. I'm wasting so. my fucking time. But yeah, man. Uh, do you, have, you got the, the website domain and everything yet? Or you're not putting it out no, yet? No, no, no. I'm not putting it out there yet, but I have everything. Everything is on lock. Officially, we launched on May 18th. And I'll give a little teaser. The reason I'm waiting to put all that out is because how I want to launch the business is I'm giving away $1,000. Mm. Should have said, you should have opened the interview with that. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing like that. You feel know I me? Mean? But um, I'm giving away $1,000 just to anybody. If you need it for, whether it's for your family, whether it's for your business, anything. All I want is a 50 word essay. And mm. I'm only going to open it up to 75 applicants. 50, not 50 word essay. 75 applicants, 150 word essay saying, what would you do if money was not an issue for you? Mm. Like if you had all the money in the world, all your bills were paid. What would you do if you didn't have to worry about money? I clearly wouldn't be writing an essay. Because <laughs> clearly money is an issue. So I'll try to get this thousand dollars. But it's like, yo, the most unique answer, I'd be like, all right, bet. That's you my answer going to be why I wouldn't be writing this essay. Because me writing this essay shows that I need this motherfucking money. But nah, uh, nah again, man, I appreciate you for uh, sitting down. I appreciate you for um, definitely reaching out to me. Because this is support for me, man. Uh, one more time, where to follow you at and how to find your services if they want to book. Um, so as of right now, I'm on Instagram as the original made man. Not spelling it again because I don't want to mess up the spelling. It's all one word. Spell it, nigga. The original <laughs> made man. Spell just how it's supposed to be. T H E O R I G I N A L M A D E M A N. The original made man. You can DM me, comment on any of my posts. I got you. I'll holler back. I'm pretty good with responding and everything. But May 18th is the official launch date of my business. And a nigga need a fucking website because he's talking about DM me. Like, no, nah, nigga, email me, nigga. Oh, no, trust <laughs> me. The website and everything, it will be an official post, all that, when I drop everything at the same time. But nah, man, I definitely appreciate you. Another dope conversation with a dope person. Uh, so I'll be God for you, man. Mr. J. Hill, J. Sanders. It's a wrap. We out. <laughs>